it's an autopsy story uh, this morning. Of course, it has everything to do with uh, IEBC, which has uh, terminated the three billion shilling standard for the installation of an integrated elections management system for the August 8th polls. Now, in a letter to the French firm on Tuesday, IEBC CEO Ezra Chiloba uh, noted that the firm's bid was significantly above the budgetary provision. He also cited uh, litigation as another reason for cancellation, saying it had lost valuable time. Last Thursday, IBC said it was in the process of concluding the tender with French firm. Uh, on uh, February 28th, IBC cancelled the tender so as to invite fresh bids, but was stopped in its tracks after Avante International Technology went to the review board challenging the cancellation. The system is meant to integrate the existing biometric voter registration, the biometric voter identification, the electronic results transmission and the political party and candidate registration system among other very many uh, things that the system should be able to take care of. And we want to have a conversation here in studio. Remember earlier on, we spoke to uh, Opio Wandai, who is a Gunja member of parliament, and he actually lauded uh, IBC for actually terminating this, con uh, this uh, tender. Let's hear what uh, Felix Odiambo has to say. He is uh, from the Election Institute for Sustainable Democracy in Africa. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. All right, so I'd like to hear your reaction to the termination of this particular contract or tender. Ah, okay. Uh, thank you very much for your invitation. Right. And uh, I think it's necessarily and properly mm -hmm. uh, the chief topic here today uh, first of all, let me make a very small correction. Right. I'm the executive director of the Electoral Law and Governance Institute, all right. which is LGI. Yeah, right. so no problem yeah. at all. Uh, well, I think it is unfortunate that we have uh, gotten to where we are. Mm -hmm. And I think before I even begin to answer that question, I think it is important for us to appreciate the context and the perspective uh, with which, uh, against which uh, the integrated elect electronic management system came about. Mm -hmm. You will recall that uh, uh, this was a negotiated uh, consensus by the joint, uh, the bipartisan joint parliamentary sel select committee that was chaired by uh, the Honorable Orengo and the Honorable Kiraitu. Right. And what necessitated that uh, political consensus was that the country the electoral process or electoral preparation was actually at its lowest ebb. There was massive street protest and there were a number of things that were happening around that time. The country was virtually in a stalemate mm -hmm. or a deadlock. So the bipartisan committee came up and hammered out certain consensus. And uh, the main achievement of that was the restoration of confidence in the electoral process, but most fundamentally the restoration of confidence on IEBC. Mm. Uh, at that time, the confidence, the approval rating of IEBC was right. 36%. And after that, then we saw some, uh, the restoration of hope and confidence after the joint committee and the consensus mm. that they reached. Unfortunately for us as a country, we did not think through the implementation of the, the recommendation of the Joint Committee. And we have seen uh, certain attempts at clawbacking uh, the achievements and the progress that were realized by, one, the Jubilee Party and NASA and the IEBC itself. And this is how. Uh, Jubilee, through this, uh, the, amend the, the so-called Duali Amendment mm, Bill, mm. actually sought to claw back on major achievements of that particular consensus. And then the incessant uh, court cases by court yeah. on matters that sometimes can actually be negotiated in the boardroom as act is actually a clawback. But most fundamentally, the IEBC, by their action of terminating this uh, process or this tender of uh, KIMS, if we may call it yeah. that, has inadvertently played into the hands of the politicians or the political formations by pro failing to provide leadership uh, in a very important and a crucial aspect of the electoral process. Right. I've said in this forum and I've said in the past that if we are to restore credibility and confidence in 2017, then technology is a must. Okay. Yes. So you're saying that it is... Uh regrettable yes. that this has happened. Absolutely. It's so regrettable. And uh, I think I've looked at the, the reasoning yes. by the chief, uh, the CEO of IABC, uh, that it was terminated on the basis of the, the, the high price. Right. And uh, truth be told, uh, the Public uh, Procurement and Asset Disposal Act at Section 132 actually gives the commission a leeway to negotiate the price with the evaluated tenderer. Uh, what it means is that once there were an, a technical evaluation process that was done, 
And if one tenderer emerged the winner at that particular stage, but the price is high, you can the law actually gives the IBC uh, powers to negotiate, to negotiate the price down. All right. I'm not sure whether whatever that company was called for that purpose. Uh, number two is uh, the, I mean, uh, Chiloba's letter uh, purportedly claimed that a crucial time has, has been, been lost, lost yes. uh, as a result of litigation. Mm. As, yes, there have been litigation in the past, but as we speak, there is actually no pending litigation in court mm. with regard to the electoral process. The last litigation was with regard to the ballot papers mm. uh, that Judge Odunga ruled on. And before and subsequent to that was, of course, the ruling by the PPOA, right. uh, which allowed IBC to restore the tender.